What up, watch peeps? Let's talk about Zelos. You're all probably familiar with Zelos. They are one of the OG micro brands. And the great thing about the micro brands that have been around for a while is that they usually have their manufacturing process really dialed in. Zelos still has the occasional hiccup with their bracelets, but they aren't alone there. They recently dropped a $12,000 tourbillon that was pretty freaking amazing if you haven't seen that and sold out. I've had quite a few Zelos in my journey. My first was either the Visionary, which was an early dress watch, or a bronze hammerhead. I can't remember which one I had first. I still have a titanium hammerhead in my collection, which I love and it's not going anywhere. Um, I had the first gen of the watch we're about to look at today, so I'm really excited to see what the changes are. This is my watch, it was not donated or lent into the channel. Speaking of which, if you're enjoying the channel, subscribing is a huge help and always much appreciated. All right, let's get to it. I'm Pete and we are Chillin' With Watches. All right, let's see what we got here. But first, wrist check. I am wearing my Pilot. This is actually a Vostok Amphibia. So what you have here is a 39 millimeter pilot watch with 200 meters of water resistance on a, wait for it, oh yeah, Spidel Twisto Flex. I'm gonna take your grandpa style, I'm gonna take your grandpa style. No, for real, ask your grandpa, can I have his hand-me-downs? All right, let's open this thing. While I was taking the labels off, I accidentally split the bag open, so I did half the work already. I am pretty excited for this one. I've been waiting, but not waiting as long as I thought. This was supposed to be a two to four week wait time for uh, shipping on these, but it was only about one week. Some of you guys, the more savvy of you, might actually already recognize this box if you've ever ordered one of these, a, a watch from this brand before. Shipping always comes in this same exact box. And that probably gives it away. And that definitely does. So this is a really nice packaging. This is how Zelos ships all their watches. And I forgot just how tight these sleeves are. One sec. Okay. I really had to wrestle that thing open. This was really tight on there. But I got it. Um, these boxes, I actually reuse these. I keep straps in these. I have one for like 20 millimeter straps, one for bracelets. Um, they're pretty cool. And they give you one of my favorite things to get with a watch. You always get some kind of awesome travel roll. And this is a new style one. I've not had one like this before. I've had the blue one and I've had the canvas one. This is, I'm assuming some kind of faux leather, the inside feels like something different. So let's go through all the pockets, see what we got. You can see here is the Zelos warranty card. It's always printed bronze card. Serial number date. Put that back. So we hear that buckles clanging around. All right, let's see. This is gonna be pretty cool. Oh man, that is gorgeous. What a beautiful color. That bracelet is super nice too. Reminds me of a Laurier bracelet, but not as thick. New Zelos clasp. That's pretty slick. I like the way that looks. The way the logo is done with the stripe. Milled clasp looks nice and long. I know they've had issues with their bracelets before. The end links look like they're well done. They are male end links, but it articulates. I, at least I was gonna say, let's get the wrapping off. I wanted to get some of the uh, protective wrapping off the bracelet. They're off cam, because sometimes that's tricky to find the ends of that stuff. So we can uh, check out that bracelet. And it is a fully articulating bracelet. So uh, that is gonna be very comfortable. Let's look at that dial though. Believe I can't tell if I have a protective thing on there or not. Let me see. Yeah, there is one on there. 
Wow, so satisfying to remove those. Now we can see that dial in earnest. It has a more, it's shown very blue on the camera, but if I can get that light without the glare, it actually has like a little bit of a greenish or like an aquamarine color to it. Um, I love the pip. Look how the pip, ma the pip actually matches the dial. So if you can picture the dial being a little more green. You can see it has a little bit of a sunburst finish. That is a really nice dial. Their bezels are always insanely awesome. There's never any play. They're super precise. Very notchy. And I've never had one that didn't line up perfectly. Yep, nailed it. Three o'clock. Looks like they feel like they've shrunk in the crown guard since the previous version of these. Nice pop when it releases from the threads. Make sure we're in the PMs. Color match date wheel. Very nice handset. So let's take a look at some of the measurements on this real quick. Yeah, if this is the, this is the new 40 millimeter. I guess it depends where you grab it, but this is a 40 millimeter swordfish. 40 at the bezel, 20 millimeter lugs. I can't tell if there's any taper on this bracelet or not. Let's see. Yeah, there is two millimeters worth of taper, so that's good. Middle class, let's see what the thickness is on this guy. 12.2, that is great for an NH35. If you pre-ordered these, they were $269. 6.4 millimeter crown. It is insane what they can produce at that price point. Finishing looks great. A little cut in bevel on the underside that will make it a little more comfortable when you wear it that's polished. All brushed across the top. Obviously it has a little bit of a samurai looking feel to it. With those crown guards and the lugs. Speaking of lugs, let's see what the lug to lug is. The actual lug to lug. It's a very Seiko 45.7. But it has male end lengths. Now they are extremely turned down and I don't think it'll matter, but if you were to count those in, you're at 50.8. But, I mean, the way they lay, it's half of the downturn to go around your wrist. So let's throw it on wrist real quick. Obviously, it's not sized yet, but here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. 40 is just about perfect for everybody. Man, I really wish I could catch that greenish hue to the dial. It is really like a teal. Really gorgeous dial. And the way those links play with the light. That is fantastic. So yeah, I think I mentioned it is a Seiko NH35 movement, sapphire crystal. These are 200 meters water resistance. Let's take a look at that crown. I think it is signed. Yeah, signed crown. Actually really cool with that circle around the edge. Kind of a radial brushing effect to it. Very nice. The grip on the crown is very pronounced ridges. Easy to grab, easy to manipulate. Crown guards don't get in the way. And it's right in the middle of the crown guards. I, I, something that annoys me is when crown guards sit below the the crown or above it. But, I mean, these are right on point. Design is excellent. Case back has the swordfish on it, along with sapphire 200 meter. Swordfish 40. No, that's where it says 200 meter. So the bezel material, 
I'm not sure. I think that is like a brush ceramic. And I'm sure it's loomed. Zelos looms everything. The lugs are not drilled, but I have a feeling that's because of this extreme taper to them and how thin they are. Oh, look at that. Quick release bracelet. Wait, do I have to, oh, I have to grab both sides? It might be. Nope, not that hard at all. So yeah, where the lug holes are would be in the thinnest part of this tapered lug, and that probably is impractical to drill them. But yeah, well, that comes out real easy. We'll see about reinserting, and I don't know how well I'll be able to do that on camera. Let's give it a try. Well, that was not... Assuming it's still in there, that was not... I missed. Ah, it's a little harder than I thought it would be. Yeah, having to reach around the camera and try and hold that and do it in, it's just a little awkward, but when it's right in front of you, you can just hold both pins, slide it in, release, and they click right in. No problems. Let's take another look at that clasp, though. Nice middle clasp. I really dig this. Let's see if we can get the protective tape off of there. All right, there we go. So yeah, you can see it's almost like a sandblasted stripe down the middle of the clasp. And it, it is, you can feel it, it's like engraved. That is a really cool clasp, I really like that. Simple two pusher, flip over, everything is solid. No movement in it. Sometimes you get a loose uh, security. But yeah, that's all snap down type. Really nice all in all, I really dig it. I don't know what else I have here to compare it to. Let's see. I've only got a couple, so we'll keep it short and sweet. Here's an SKX. Looks like it will wear relatively similar to an SKX. It's the same distance. It's slightly smaller. Um, here it is. This is a 39. 39 millimeter Vostok versus a 40 millimeter swordfish. Proportionally, dial to bezel ratio, pretty similar on these. They look like they wear pretty similar. Oh, really nice wearing watch. Keep the loom. Oh man. Look at that. Yep. They've outdone themselves again with the loom, and you can see there is BGW9 around the uh, minute track. And the rest, I believe, is C3X1. Uh, it is every bit as bright in person as it looks on camera. All right, let's flip the camera back around. We can wrap this up. All right, guys, so that's it. The new Zelo Swordfish in 40 millimeter. Man, I don't know, the dial on this, this might be love at first sight. I'm gonna hang on to this one for a while. Any of you guys get in on the pre-order? What do you guys think? Share your thoughts in the comments. All right, before I let you go, sneaker check. I'm wearing my maroon chucks. I really like this new style of chucks. All right, that's it. I'm out. It's not too much trouble. Like, subscribe, and come back next time. Peace.